Dupree is holding it, but he's just looked away. The timing could not be better for Nico, even if he tried, man. He's got no idea that Dupree was just holding this, and Dupree does go back and check it the second time around. Now, with a lot of players on this flank, that might look great for Heroic, but it's going to leave you with just two inside of the A site. And with Dupree still holding the wrap, it's not like these lurking players are going to be able to do anything about the bulk of the Astralis forces here at the ramp. Astralis looking like they want to go back and try and fight this, unaware as to just how many players there are here. Ooh, S-Tag, he was wider than Stan was ready for. Dupree was peeking close, and S-Tag goes in for more, doubling down and dominating Heroic on the back line. They can just back up into B. The bomb is running for it in this five on two. Tess is still stuck, and Device does see him tucked in on the boost, going to back up and run towards the actual site where the action's going on. It's B. There is one man here in time, Borup been pretty damn good in the Pro League so far. Had a rough series yesterday, but this is a good time to show up. S-Tag drops him with his third kill of the round, and Tess is now stuck alone, dinked off the angle. That U2 is not going to come into play. And they're going to keep it that way, too. S-Tag gets the last kill on Tess's, and we see this round. And they got to be aware of this player at Sandbacks, too. Are they? That's the big question. Doesn't seem like anyone's really holding that angle tightly, except for Nico holding the angle over the scaffold. That's going to find some sick dig action right here so far from the side of Heroic. Oh, he's gone all according to plan. Just S tag and a one on four. No bomb in hands. Does have an AK. Oh, will actually lose his head in the process. Nico with a tremendous round. Four frags for himself on the back of a deagle. So eventually it's going to fall to them to make this first move. On plant should be doable here. They've got to get past Nico and Tess as those scoped up on the org. Good trade for device. Nico with the spray. He's got two. Can he find a third? S tags dropped, and that's the plant denied. All of them lining up for Nico. Stounds here in time for a final one. And heroic. Clean sweep on that anti-eco. Not much utility left here, Harry. Really, not a lot. You're going to be relying on just these individuals and magic. Well, he's good for one. That's it removed and into this two on two there's the swing from dupree and it's left on to s tag at a 1v1 back at the ramp there is a smoke for the bomb that gets dropped by nico and he's just oh, sticking baby. it he's still on the bomb s tag oh, needs no. to land this shot and he can't nico just sticking it straight up once again the hero in the round for Heroic. Not wanting to give away the info too early. Hoping uh, Astralis rotate into him outside of B. And he's got Glaive on rotation going to the other side of the map. Astralis know what's up. And they're just going to commit into this A site. Oh, and Cadian lighting Ooh. them up, man. They're not getting anywhere near it. It's Dupree and Device left up alive. Their numbers dwindling. And this bomb dropped out in the open. Device is going to tap Cadian out of the round. There's still a minute left, right? So there's still plenty of time. But with two players ready to peek from CT, Device spamming down Nico. Almost gets away with that kill. And he's going to try and get this bomb down in the smoke. Dupree trying to watch over his teammate. Bomb plant comes in. Astralis may be in with a chance. But that is a great flash from Nico. Allows Borup to get that kill. And it's left Device all alone now. Will he get paranoid about that tap on the bomb? Hasn't shown himself up yet, but there's the swing from Borup to cement a fifth. And yeah, he gets put down. Flash into middle for Astralis and the orb to start off. Yeah, they drop a flash. Thought, hey, you know what? Maybe I'll get away. Nah, Nico, go ahead and do what you gotta do, man. You've been on fire the whole game. Ooh. Might as well feed him a little bit more. Dupree left in a one on five with just a deagle. A round not designed for Astralis to win. Oh, and Dupree <laughs> through the wall, deleted by Stown. Seven to one, heroic, a flawless round. Jiggle, jiggle device, there it is. Uh-oh, he's got help though, it's Nico. Imagine that, right place, right time, again. And Kadian's able to pivot away from paying attention to the scaffold, turns oh. around and Nico has picked up where he left off. Just Dupree, who has been left on the other side of the map the entire round and with 20 seconds. Astralis having to save one rifle in this round. And Heroic just running the board right now, writing the script. However, known as T-Spawn. Yes. However, the bomb site's being on the other opposite side. Oh, Look at that. Just a crazy charge from Device. A mad sprint. Oh, oh, Tessus has three. He looks for a fourth, and he's going to get it with a wow. deagle. That, that was hot stuff from Tessus. 
I love it. Nico on the other side of the smoke, 16 and one. No one has been able to stop him yet. So will it finally happen? The smoke fades and Glaive, his first kill in the game is on to someone who is 16 and one on the other side. Now that victory is short lived for Glaive. For Cadian in a 1v2, it might have to just be the round. He's got in, he's gotten close, but a man on the generators has got it dead to rights. It's Dupree there to solidify that second on the board for Astralis. Retake on the cards. Tess is going to go ahead and dump a Molotov here towards Sandbags. That's going to prompt the smoke to come out from Device. He'll be safe for the time being. Glaive firing in from the ramp. And so far, the frags are going in the way. Well, they're going back and forth. It's Glaive with two, and we found ourselves in a precarious one on two. Kadian might just try to stick this. They're spamming him off. He taps the bomb, backs away, looks for the frags. Instead, finds one. Can he find the second one to get the defuse? The time is just too ticked. Oh, and somehow Dupree lives to tell the tale in the next round. He's going to salvage an AWP. He's going to be able to pass that back over to Device. But yeah, there's the nade stack over in the B site early on in the round. Yeah, and Glaive continuing to come alive, right? Three kills in that round, locking it down, shots through the smoke, even peeking with only a few bullets left in the mag, uh, takes one down with five left. Lovely stuff. They may lose the control, but they can execute into B soon. Glaive jumping up, not playing the wood this time. Flash forward. Player on default to deal with his Bob. He's already been spotted and a little bit screwed as the Molly pushes him out. He takes a kill and burns to death. Still a good hold nonetheless. S tag in middle, looking to come in late, cut off these rotations. Now, Stown ain't having none of it. He feels it. He is ready and he's got the kill through the wall as well. Grabbing an AK, but he can't afford to waste time. They don't have a lot of it and no kit on this retake. Backpack spotted. Nico shoots. Blade will respond through the smoke and now he's stuck in a very awkward one on two. Yeah, an excellent Molotov right there. Stops Heroic from just jumping all over the planner and stopping this round from Astralis. Now down to a 201, Nico. With the plays of the game thus far, with the frags to his name. Gonna dump a Molotov there in the site, smoke off the bomb, dump whatever remaining utility. This is the last round, he's gotta go for it. He's gonna tap it, but not stick it. He looks before the frags and they're not there. Majisk puts it into the half. We see ourselves going to a break with Heroic up nine to six, but Astralis. It's not a commitment. Making noise below B as matches aggresses and maybe to his own demise. Deep smoke for S tag, uh, S -tag trying to cut off the rotation. Magis pushing into his own death. A little bit flashed out there by Glaive. Tessas, will he check close? And they comes out and S tag caught switching That's weapons. It. It's all the kills for Heroic and the A site included. Yeah, Device is gonna have to do something really special here. Effectively in a 1v4. Goes above the smokes, but that wall is already down and that's gonna cut off the site, allow for this plant to come through for Heroic. In that follow-up for far less money. So even here, Dupree's gonna lose a, a good bit of armor to the bomb. Device getting away with one, but even following up, not taking a shot. Dupree, yeah, he loses some armor. Yeah, reading is one thing, but reacting quite another. And they try to be the first to take action in this round. They flash for a ramp peak, but it's Nico, the first man to grace that scoreboard. Borup following up and S-Tag hidden in this sight smoke. They're actually going past Whoa. him and that's Device just wow. left out of the round. S-Tag gonna have to try and do it all and he's only good for one. And Dupree, our thoughts go out to him. That B site is feeling awful lonely this time of year like a meme template idea there. You know, you go like top three least explored places in the world or something. You go like bottom of the ocean. Thought he got away with murder right there. No murders of his own. And for Heroic, they're going into this site. And they're gonna be doing it four on three. Dupree on seven Ooh. HP. Device actually able to do something in terms of holding the ground here for Astralis, but the bomb will go down maybe. Never mind. Stopped immediately. Majisk just happens to be hanging out in the catwalk. Now on to Borup. Oh, ooh, that just doesn't know. Borup's closer than he thinks, and he swings, but he falls. And Borup, two shots remaining, 29 seconds, seven health on Dupree, and he doesn't know where he's coming from either. Risking the reload, Dupree can get up into the boost if he wants. Borup trying to flash the cross. Dupree with his shot, and Astralis, by the skin of their teeth, hang on to the round. 25 seconds left as of right now. And so eventually, Heroic, they're gonna have to make this move. Creeping down through short side. Now they try and explode in. Down with the burst and a follow up Whoa. onto Magis okay. for Tessas. Bomb now looking to go down and this nade from Glaive, it's gonna have to be godlike, but they dodge it. Nico actually baits that out. Oh, no. 
Doesn't get it planted Ooh. yet, though, and the Molly is now on there as well. Someone's got to get this bomb oh. down, and they're burning to death. Stown oh. deleted. And Astralis, they get that round locked in. It's the Glaive Nades that get them there. Nine on the board. And now their money is at breaking point. And so that can be Astralis well and truly back into this game if they pick this round up and already sat in a five on three. It's going to leave Heroic with this mid push. And that is it. Yeah, they've already cleared out bottom B and they have re-aggressing players up on that A site. It's about to all be made so clear for Astralis. Glaive sees the jump and Device is here with the orb as well for the swing. He's got Stown gone. Tess has spammed through the box and another flawless round for Astralis. They start to build not just in scoreline, but also in money as well. And that's just about anything that they can because the, the momentum has shifted tremendously in this matchup. Astralis. <laughs> They're not stopping anytime soon, especially with Kadian going down that early in the round. Device with the opening kill and the AWP. Doesn't want to go too far forward, even though he can get a shot. Tessus could trade Device very quick and backs out alive. Pistol's getting removed one by one here for Heroic, and now they're going to try and group and go together. Oh, but Device, another three in the round. He does need some support from S-Tag over at short. He could stop the bomb and a bomb plant there for Heroic. They'll take that, man. Like that, that was a pretty dire round once they lose the first three to Device. Oh, Dupree is back here, but there's also Glaive to draw attention away over in mid. Device, meanwhile, continuing to lock down the A side of the map and Nico saw Glaive. Dupree uses that to his advantage and just waits ever so patiently. Now Smoke to be allowed to cross out oh. and in with another for Dupree. They finally come B and he's so happy about it. Two kills, cementing a 13th, the equalizer for Astralis. And you think about the fact that this game was 9-1 at one point in time in favor of Heroic. The... Uh, I was going to say the short side players, but Device actually just moved off the angle. And with Glaive now removing Borup at B, that's actually kept more players for Astralis over towards that B site. That's going to help Heroic out as they look to move in. They do still have to bear this sandbag position in mind, and they haven't been able to flush S-Tag out yet. Device in with one, cancelled out by Tessez. But this sandbags player just not giving anything to Heroic. This bomb is still on Cadian's back at ramp, and he's not even looking into the site. Tessez is trying to keep it all under control. But Kadia needs to get here, and he's got to get here now. There's so little time left. Smoke in the hands of Astralis Whoa. as well. Nothing for Kadia to cross. He does get into the site, but no time for the plot. And it's going to be around for Astralis. Getting away with the kill after time as well. So ruining Heroic's money up against 14. And that might make the rest of Heroic decide to pick up the pace a bit here. Dupree, this entire round just might fall onto the results of him here at the B stairs. Nothing more than a bit of damage to open up, but there's his first kill. Can he get away? He does. Okay. Disappearing through the smoke. The AWP of Nico dropped and Stown, the last man left alive. A 1v4 turned 1v3 that he just can't get away with. And it's 15 on the board. Map point for Astralis. For Astralis since that point. They're looking for 10 rounds in a row and they might just find it. Yeah, you look at a player like Nico who you know, pretty much put his heart and soul into the series there at the very beginning, but you can only do so much. And the answer from Heroic here on map point is to rush middle. It's not gone well at all. Stown, the last one to fall. Technina coming to life, and so will we. Right after this break, ladies and gentlemen, Astralis rallying back and picking up the first map of this series. We're going to be going to Overpass next. You're watching the ESL Pro League Season 12 playoff. And having a retake and a four go. on five, the double nades into the plant at Glaive. Wow. Remember that one from Vertigo? They drop him out of the round. A bit of revenge for a time gone by. And Tess says, in with the next. So now just three players left for Astralis. Oh, they're losing numbers by the second. Dupree trying to stay alive, trying to keep fighting, but he's gone as well. And it's going to fall onto Magisk. 1v3. Bomb planted for him. He's tucked away. They know where he is now. They tap a shot past him. And there's the first tag. Magis, give him the second. And while Tessas does get the trade without the kit, he's also got time for the defuse as well. Might be just about now as noise is made over at short side. Now utility starting to go in as well. Smoke into heaven. Nobody committed yet, but surely it's got to happen soon. And with oh, the bomb getting dropped at Monster, that's the round over and done with as it stands. 
they leave it down to the wire and they come to pay the price for it. They can't even get out of here with all these weapons. That is a disastrous ending to this force by for Astralis, you know, you leave it so late in the round and everything has to go right in the moment that that bomb gets dropped, the round is over. Magis dies after time as well. It's gonna favor the T's because they can just keep re-smoking these angles and force Heroic to go through them. Dupree even boosted up into heaven. Surely you're not ready for this if you're Heroic. Glaive holding close to the smoke, spamming and running away. Another man dropped for Heroic. This might just have to be the save, really. So much time ticked off of this bomb. Dupree still lurking in the heavens, and he could deny these weapons getting held onto for the Heroic squad. Going deep, does get bested by Nico. Astralis gonna get there first, and that is all on the back of the quick scout from S-Tag into that B site with quite the surf at the end. You love that. It's just something very satisfying about a surf away from the B bomb site on overpass. Looking to hit this B site fast. We're looking at Borup and we're looking at Tessas, the two AKs in this round for Heroic to try and rise above it all. Then as a man at the sandbags, he did not sandbags, barrels rather, and he gets found by Magis looking for a bit more. It's all very, very chaotic right now. And Tessas finally beats him, but blind as a bat, they deal with him. Stown's what? orb dropped as well, a nut shot from Dupree to get it. Finally, Astralis, they remedy this problem. They get a second on the board and they leave Cadian with no choice but to hold on it to his orb. Glaive gonna go past the long. Tons of money in the pocket for Heroic still. So they've got somewhat of a cushion. Look at this. Oh, Stoutbell even saw him. They get into the site. Cadian is still here with that orb, but the nade brought him down low. S-Tag holding on to Khan. They rush through, and there's one and the second as well. Trying to keep this all under wraps, but Stown does get the trade. And Heroic, they're spurred on now. They didn't really have much coming into this round, and so a three on two, they're keen to make the most of it. Magisk and Dupree inside of the site. There's one for Magisk, but he's brought down very, very low. Borup going to finish the job, and it's down to a 1v1. The low HP Cadian versus Dupree. Time ticking against Cadian, Whoa. and he's got to find this kill. He's got to find it quick. Dupree dancing with the stars <laughs> right now, wow. and Cadian will get the frag, but it's still four on the board for Astralis. Oh, that is an uh, unbelievable round from the start to the finish, right? This for Heroic, this could be they're undoing Cadian uh, and Nico, both looking short side device. I think he's seen the barrel of the AWP, and there's one locked in. Doesn't know about Nico. N oh, 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 this is weird. Nico's trying to play the trigger discipline. He's trying to bait the rest of Astralis into A. They don't know that he's here. This could be huge. Yeah, he let device go, but it was all to try and pick up the round on his own. There's the kill onto the bomb platter, but he's got to get more out of this. And there's almost a the follow up, but not quite. If he gets one more kill there, he might have just saved the round for Heroic. Without both kills, it's a done round. It's Astralis building and building some more. Borup saving his gun, should get away just fine, even with device around the corner. Towards long, that is. Cadian slides on out, just a creepy crawl out, and oh. he's gonna get owned by device. Who needs an AWP? Yeah, basically. Nico and Tessas do have this little crossfire set up, but Nico's gonna get checked first and dealt with. Tessas on the swing is only good for one in response, and so already Heroic are gearing up to save again. But Dupree, he's not a fan of letting them keep this money going strong over on the CT side. Borup should be good for the trade, and he is. Well, Borup, yeah. see ya. Sorry, bud. There it is. Glaive removing that one attempt at the save. A team ace for Astralis. Uh -oh. There is a kill there. Stown walks into it, but they don't get away with it. The nade might brings him even lower, but Stown is still a threat. However, Glaive is quick to deal with him. They run past each other in Monster. Device knows that oh, someone no. is here somewhere, but he's pincered between Nico and the Monster Man, and it's all left on to Dupree, who's got to be a Monster Man up into the site, looking for them, but none of the kills given over. It's seven on the board for Heroic, and Dupree dies after time. And Nico could go for the peak, but right now he's tucked, waiting. 
Spam from B, keeping the pressure on Magis. Oh, the double check, and he goes back for more, getting that kill. Doesn't believe it the first time around. Cadian drops device in middle after he took down Tessas, and Astralis know where one of these orbs are. They go down and into the depths below, back to that B bomb site. Cadian is arriving on this flank while the rest of Astralis try and get into B. There is still a man here to deal with KD and both players for Heroic now down in the site. They lose the con rotate, oh no, the but Borup has put up a double. Finally cancelled out by Magis. Down here, left in a 1v2. He's had a quiet game on Vertigo. Just as quiet here on Overpass, but this second orb now needs to deliver and he can't do pre. Locks in eight for Astralis at the end of the first half from Dupree in through the B site. Magisk ready and waiting at long, but can't connect anything right away. Stown will pipe up with what? And Glaive, they've already wrapped him in the site. There's the 5-7 oh, in with no. a double. They've given a few to Glaive. And now we're into a two on two. S-Tag arriving up through the connector. Dupree rotated through that B site, but uh -oh. Borup bests him. Oh, They're gonna try and rotate down to B. This is gonna be very, oh. very close. I think Borup should be all good. Just barely. Ooh, he's gonna get there. Wow, what a, a crazy second call. left to plod, and S Tag still clearing out the A site. That reality that that bomb has gone down in B dawns on him just a second too late. There's a man in heaven. <laughs> Stown is there to lock it in. And so he's got this information that it's hey. looking like it's going to be B, and that means Astralis, they're fine to keep three players here. The old orb flank. Heroic. They might be about to run to their demise. They open up onto Glaive, but there's more where that came from. S-Tag playing around this smoke. In with one. Chipped down from the monster side. But Magisk here to help out. Let's keep his teammate alive. Uh -oh. S-Tag on fire. Still going. And there's the flank from Device. It is all left on to Cadian. Mac 10 and a dream in the 1v3. And S-Tag is there to snuff him out. It's nine on the board. Back to this B bomb site. Will it be a fast rush? They at least set up quick, but taking the short water instead. Flashed out is down. Eats a nade on the way in. Imagine just spams the smoke in anticipation. Beautiful work. Astralis up a man into this gun round. This is going to put Heroic on Eco, right? So a lot of pressure. Nico doing his best device impression, running up long as fast as he can, but device might hear it. Uh -oh. oh dear, the orb coming in with a peek. And he gets the info. There's the shot from device. Not a hard one for him at all. Dupree hears them coming above, and that could be the bomb delivered to his feet. It goes up and then back down. A nade to follow, and Dupree with a package in his control. They're just waiting over here toward T ramp. Here comes Dupree, but not going to go up the ladder. Just Actually, grabs the AK. I like that call for Astralis. Tech on KD. Magic has pushed monster. Nico doesn't realize, and he's walking in blind, dead through the wall. Bombs even dropped in the con side. That nade on the door. Stralis using their own tricks against Heroic. And that reaggression on short, not coming through. Glaive sets up outside of the monster instead. Heroic three outside B, but with this control for Astralis, as long as Glaive gets the information, Magic can come in on that retake. Rotates are a long way away. Other than that, Madge is turning around at non-pivotal time. Borup walks through the smoke, and Madge is there to deal with him. Stown expects more after Borup kills Glaive, but it's actually an empty B site. He doesn't know it, but he's stalling his own clock out. 30 seconds going back for Madge, who hasn't even moved a muscle. Patience is a virtue for Astralis. Three kills on Madge. And also, if it goes A, S-Tag is so far away that you are relying on Magisk and Dupree to do the bulk of the damage here. It is going to be the A play. Magisk on the truck. They're already close. He does deal with Borup. Looking to follow up, Ooh. but Stown besting Dupree. And now all the attention is on Magisk inside of this site. There's another for him. The Hello. bomb going down. He's not able to stop that, but he is still putting wow. up numbers until Stown puts a stop to him. And Kadian is there with the AWP as well. Heroic. They take a short break, and now they come back in with round number 11. Yeah, Kadian taking a sweet time. Speaking of the time, we're down to 30 seconds in the round, so. Ooh, yeah, All deep right. re. Here's the <laughs> footsteps. Kadian not ready for a close player. And now Device, he's given an AWP's playground here. They're going to come up short side. All three of them, one already crossed to the flower beds, but Device, he's cutting them down. Does fall back into the bank. Uh-oh. One plant coming through for Stown and Nico, but a two on four. And looking for the man they lost at long. Dupree wins that out, and Stown okay. dropped by device as him and Dupree hold down that A site between the two of them. And Heroic filter out through mid. 
So creepy, too. Oh, this could give them a bit of a false sense of security, uh -oh. though. They've gone through the smoke device while he does get away with one. It's now Dupree and his responsibility to clean up the toilets. And here he is, toilet brush in hand, Dupree doubling down, and Nico falling back in the sight. It's all onto Stown. 1v4. Astralis about to reach 14, and yet in less Stown. With 55 seconds left, no bomb, nothing going his way. He's able to deliver us one hell of a clutch. He does deal with Dupree, but Stown, he's been pretty quiet in this series. Not, not a whole lot of time to work out here, is there, Stown? Yeah, he needs the plot, and yeah, he's not going to get it. S-Tag swings from the truck. Even she blind. Sure doesn't happen again. And even blind, they're just running into each other repeatedly, right? Repeatedly. Maybe oh. repetitively too. Another B rush, and this time Glaive and Magis get away with a lot of damage. Now, three players inside of B. This is going to be a rough one for Heroic. They have to try and break through this defense somehow. There's so many smokes. Down is lost in them and falls on the head of S-Tag. Device um. with the Org, dropping the bomb, dropping a double, and leaving it all on Cadian. He does spot Dupree, but this fight could go either Whoa. way, and it's going to be <laughs> Dupree closing wow. that one out. Oh, 15 man. for Astralis. Map and series point just one away from locking in a grand final versus Na'Vi. They've had so little success in this T side. They're going back to all that's really worked in these gun rounds, in these late rounds. It's the B play. This time a little bit stalled out. Utility going over the top. And again, three for Astralis. S tag in with one. Stown will trade it out, but there's more support coming from Con side. Dupree putting it in the advantage of Astralis. And now Glaive wrapping in as well. Astralis might have got this one dead to rights. It's one man left and Astralis, it looks like they've done it. Cadian doing all he can, but it's not gonna be enough. It is in vain and Astralis, they do it. They lock in a grand final placing versus Na'Vi, their first Pro League grand final in two whole years. And we're gonna see them go toe to toe with CIS's best.